What's up everybody? It is 6.30 in the morning and we are on our way to Big Morongo Canyon Preserve. Let's see what birds we can find. It's about an hour and 20 minutes drive from where I'm at and I'm super excited for this place. All right, I'm here at Big Morongo Canyon Preserve and it is a beautiful place. I'm on this boardwalk right here and we're just gonna go and see what birds are out here. At Big Morongo, I am lucky to have run into my new friend here, Dan, and he's awesome. He's been here for, he volunteers here at Big Morongo, Morongo Canyon Preserve. He has been here for four years, and so he's, you know, pretty much an expert on this place. And he's gotten me my lifer uh, red-breasted sapsucker, which is an absolutely amazing bird. It's got a stunning red head, um, and it just was posing for us. Also my lifer, uh, phenopepla as well. So that was a really, really cool bird. Um, they uh, got that crest on their heads with the red eye. And then lastly, I also got my barn owl um, up in this palm tree, you know, hidden away, taking a little rest. So just an absolutely amazing time at Big Morongo so far. Thank you so much, Dan, for your help. And uh, just a, a word of advice, if you come to a place and there's someone like Dan here to show you around, uh, take advantage of that because um, they know all the amazing spots to find birds. So again, thank you, Dan, and let's see what else we can find. I'm now walking through a canyon here looking for black-throated sparrow and black-tailed gnatcatcher, I believe is the other one. Dan is a legend, he had to head back. Um, he runs, you know, he, he fills up the feeders here. Just a legend helping me find three new birds on my list in just like 30 minutes. So again, it really helps to have someone that knows the area to help you find specific species that you're looking for. Now he sent me to look for black-throated sparrows up in this canyon. He says that they're pretty abundant out here, so let's see if we can find them. All right, we got more shots of California Towie. We also got more shots of Lester Goldfinch. Um, other than that, though, I only heard the black-throated sparrow. Did not see it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not through this canyon yet, but there's a possibility I could still see it in the next, you know, 300 yards I have to go. Just heard the black-tailed gnatcatcher, but... I've been looking and looking and looking, I can't find it anywhere. Two herd only lifers. It's not as satisfying, obviously, as seeing the birds themselves and not just seeing them, but getting on, getting them on camera for you guys, but it's not a guarantee. It's never a guarantee. I did see black-throated sparrow, just couldn't, it was just too fast. Couldn't get it on camera, so. Got decent shots of a Buick's wren. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool bird. Little wren species. I heard, but didn't see bush tits and orange crowned warblers. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get those on camera. I don't think I've ever gotten an orange crowned warbler on camera, but we've heard a few of them today, just two. Just spent about 20 minutes, wow, more like 40 minutes, sitting and looking for a rufous-backed robin, mega rare robin from Southern Mexico. It was spotted here seven days ago, hasn't been seen since, 
I showed up and I was asking Dan, is this a possibility? He said, no, that's long gone. Lo and behold, a young birder who traveled an hour to get here spots it, gets it on camera. <laughs> and Dan shows up and spots it, gets it on camera. Then I show up 10 minutes after everybody sees it and it's gone and it hasn't come back. But I have to get back home. Otherwise I'd spend at least another hour sitting there. That'd be such a cool bird to get. I'll stop at the feeders one more time. See if I can find it there. If not, Rufus Back Robin's gotta wait for another day. Sometimes you win some and sometimes you lose some. That's just one I wish I could have won. We were able to see 32 species, which is absolutely fantastic today. Several lifers total will be up on the screen. Most of them on camera, um, a few off camera, unfortunately, um, but we did get quite a few on our list. A little bit of a damper on the situation without getting that Rufus backed Robin. That's just how birding goes sometimes and I wish I would have gotten that, but we still saw some amazing birds today. Thank you so much to Dan. His links to his photos will be in the description box below. Shout out to all the birders that were able to see the Rufus back Robin today. Congratulations on that uh, lifer for you. If you like what you see, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I hope to see you all next time on Bright Eyed Birding.